Hello, I'm Dwight Kelty Albaheso, a little security ana analyst. So I'm so I'm gonna give you a short introduction on the Indo-Pacific. Okay, so here, so here is the Indo-Pacific region. Here is the Indo-Pacific region, the Pacific, the Pacific Ocean to the Indian Ocean. So first, what, why was the Indo-Pacific created by the Trump administration? And Trump administration in maybe 2007. So so first the in the Asia in the ASEAN China is like the leader the leader of the ASEAN so in almost in a lot of in a lot of ASEAN nations and a lot of ASEAN nations are part of the Asia Pacific so if the China is like the leader the leader of the ASEAN nations then they might like have a part of the Asia Pacific or or they could have dominance over the Asia Pacific. So what so what the Trump administration did so what the Trump administration did they changed the name from Asia Pacific and turned it into Indo Pacific. And that word is and what the and what Trump did is what Roosevelt called the big stick policy. This is talk calmly but with a big stick. That means you can weaken a country just by word, and you don't need to do anything militarily or do sanctions. Okay. So this, so that they did. Okay. So now the Indo-Pacific policy unifies the Indian Ocean here and the and the and the Pacific Ocean here, here in this. So, so up uh, this was a unifying narrative, a unifying strategy. The strategy unified the two oceans. So now, and so now there was a quadrilateral cooperation. It was quadrilateral cooperation between USA, India, Japan, Australia, Australia, and Australia, and India. Okay. So this quadrilateral cooperation was was. So this quadrat so this was a quadrilateral cooperation that was or the quad that was created because of the rising power rising power of the of China because China was 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 investing a lot of money in their military in and they were growing economic they were rising economically militarily and even financially because an example is the Belt and Road Initiative that that China has invested trillions of US doll of US dollars. So I think so I think the Belt and Road Initiative is kind of a debt trap. So this is how it works. The the China the Belt and Road Initiative if country countries Asian countries need money to build infrastructure so 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 the China gives them money. They the those countries now have debt from China. So now this money that they were given by China would be used to create infrastructure, seaports, uh, airports, airports, uh, buildings, uh, bridges, and roads. So, but now, what if they cannot pay? Then the only way, so so China wouldn't do anything bad to that country. They would. They would give that entire port to the ownership of China, but the, but that doesn't mean that 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 country doesn't have any benefit from from that from that port. They still have benefit. So this was called a string of pearls. So an example was there was in Sri Lanka, there's a a seaport, but they couldn't pay for it, so they the ownership was given to China. And and in Pakistan too, that happened too. So now they did this. Say they did this so they could. So the the China would rise economically too. They would have more trade, more exports, and more. So so they would, so it would be hard for that country to like team up with the U.S. because because the China may do may may put sanctions on that country. Because they have control of that port, so they can stop 
they can stop going into that port. They can stop going into that port. So, so that is so that is my short introduction on the Indo the free and open Indo Pacific. And okay, that what that was it. Uh, okay, uh, for, 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 for a minute. Uh, okay. What 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 do you think the future of U.S. Indo-Pacific as an Asian called by uh, China's Asian NATO in the future? What is your uh, vision about the creation of uh, Quad against okay. uh, to uh, manage the navigational access from the Indo-Pacific? I think. What the is your take? the future of uh, of the creation of quad okay. in uh, to deter the you know the threat in the south china sea or in the also in the indian ocean okay i think i think that the that the you that the future of the of the what what china called the asian nato or the quad is that is that this this will grow into a more bigger this will go into a more bigger bigger militarily because these countries the Japan in the Japan India Australia and USA have been investing some financially financially on weapons on that or and tools that they can use that they can use against China and and China has been doing things too against these countries as they have been creating a uh, high, high, uh, hypersonic, hypersonic glide, uh, hypersonic airplanes. And just tell you what this means. This means a, a this airplane can go one mile. I mean, one entire mile in one second. And this is very expensive, but. <coughs> But the China has tried this sometimes, maybe uh, like like five times, like five times, and and they have, and China has been and China has been trying to counter U.S. too by creating more submarines as China created almost forty or maybe forty five submarines while while U.S. created only fifteen in about an entire in an entire year. So I I so I think the these countries will rise militarily and and the, the quad hasn't been just a quad it has grown in like seven seven like it was like a Vietnam US India Australia New Zealand US and I I and I forgot one but those are the six that I remembered it will not be just a quad anymore. Okay.